What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video and today I've got a quick but interesting news update for you guys about an interview that French magazine Le Monde just had with Shinya Takahashi, the general manager of the entertainment planning and development division of Nintendo. He was passing through Paris for the Japan Expo when he sat down for 45 minutes with the magazine to share some details on Nintendo's production forces and the future Switch games catalog. Now the entire interview was spoken in Japanese and written in French, so I just ran it through Google Translate as per usual in these situations and it did a pretty bang up job sorting out all the Frenchinese. They didn't take too long before they asked him about the shortages and components for the Switch and how it's affecting production. His reply however I thought was pretty interesting. He said, First of all, I apologize for Switch's shortages which, unfortunately, is not our fault. But as our president announced a few days ago, we were able to improve our production line, which means that we are able to deliver more consoles for the period that is opening up. And when they asked him how he improved it, he replied simply with, the only thing I can tell you is that we have improved it. TMI, Nintendo. T-M-I. Okay, so if you're not aware of the situation, Nintendo has basically been struggling to keep up with production of the Switch due to a shortage of some rare components. Now, the Switch requires some of the same chips that your smartphone uses. So Nintendo has been battling it out with Apple for the last few months over the rights to essentially thousands of these very important smartphone chips. But it looks like they've got it all settled out now, and we will, in fact, be getting a pretty substantial restock in the next few weeks. My guess is that we'll see a pretty decent influx of Switches coming in right before the launch of Splatoon 2 around July 21st. They also asked Takahashi about the recipe of the open world and if it can be applied to other Nintendo licenses other than Zelda. Takahashi's reply was simple. For us, the aim is not to make absolutely a game in this direction, but to propose an entertainment that is in affinity with the license to which it is connected. That is, if we have another license than Zelda and we have an idea that makes an open world relevant, of course we will not forbid it, but we are not going to redo a type of game just for the sake of redoing this type of game. There must be a coherence in the development, and besides, it takes time. So I really like that Nintendo is thinking outside of the box here. They shouldn't have to try and apply the same formula to every type of game just because it works so well with Breath of the Wild. And honestly, it just goes to show how much they value their properties. And they understand that just because something clicked with one game doesn't mean they need to oversaturate the rest of their franchises with the same mechanics. Now don't get me wrong though, Breath of the Wild was an amazing experience, but I definitely don't think we need a realistic open world Ice Climbers game releasing next fall. But an open world Metroid Prime game would be pretty sweet though. I'd be all right with that. The last part of the interview that I wanted to share with you guys was when they asked Takahashi about Nintendo's take on realistic games. The disappearance of realistic games gives the impression that the Switch is mainly a cartoon universe console. Takahashi's reply was smart to say the least. I did not have the impression, but it is true that by reflecting on it following your remark, you are right. Laughter, then long silence. This does not mean that we have thrown realism to the nettles. If we have the opportunity to make a realistic and fun game, we will not refrain from doing so, I reassure you. So it's comforting to hear that Nintendo isn't necessarily opposed to making realistic looking and feeling games, however, I never really felt that they had to in the first place. I personally love Nintendo's art style, and I think it's part of what makes them who they are incredibly unique and very Japanese. I'd be fine with seeing more realistic looking games coming to the Switch, however I'm not really crying out for any at the moment myself, especially coming from Nintendo themselves. Third parties however, get on it. Where the heck is GTA 5? And also, Dark Souls anyone? Come on, I mean I bet that would run like butter on the Switch. Let me know what you guys think about this interview and what your thoughts are on some of these questions. I'll also have a link to the full interview in the video description down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. So if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.